Okay, I can't make this crap up. Part of me didn't want to tell you guys. Part of me did. It's one of those, like, are we hiding from the community? Are we lying to the community? What are we doing? Stella had to go to the vet yesterday. Just high level. She's not, she's not good, but she's not bad. We don't know what's going on. So yesterday afternoon, she just started whimpering and, like, not really using her back legs. And we were like, oh, no, the whole back problem thing all over again. Then she peed and she sat in her own pee and we're like, oh great. So we brought her all the way down to the vet. They ran some blood work. They took an x-ray, you know, ching, ching, cha ching, you know, just keeps going. And in the end, they can't find anything wrong. The back looks fine. There's nothing major that stuck out. The blood work all came back great. So the blood work was fine. So there wasn't like a tick-borne disease or anything. So we don't know what's going on. It's some type of flare-up. Oh, that's what we're thinking. It's some type of flare-up in her back that's not gonna show. We forgot to do the grain. That's not gonna show on an x-ray. So now she's on a bunch of pain meds to control pain. And we gotta go from there. So it's just one more thing, you know? One more thing. We'll be fine, we'll figure it out. But between my arm and going to the hospital, if you guys didn't know that, I went to the hospital for IV antibiotics because my arm got infected. I think I talked about all that already, I don't know. Now I gotta make some more grain for house of pie because I ran out just now. Oh, look at this, look at this. One trip, <laughs> we got it, one trip. Yeah, so it's getting chilly. Still haven't mowed the lawn. I mean, I could keep going. Just so much. Yeah, yesterday's uh, vet trip was not expected. Not at all. It was not in the plans. Lots of plans this week. Lots of projects and things to do. But going to the vet was not one of them. You guys are just like staring at the sky. That's pretty funny. Oh, got Tyler helping us out in the barn a little. I don't know if you saw him out there last night. Um, all right, green there, green there. Let's get this one. They're super full. I still haven't. Maybe I'll get Tyler to do that. Drill, drill some holes in these troughs so they don't collect rain. I got to get that done. I'll put that on the list of little things to do around here. Tyler actually was talking to me today about another friend of his in school because he goes to this ag school. But they need 100 hours this season. This season. Oh, my God. This semester or year, this year as a freshman, they need 100 hours of an agricultural project. So his friend may come over here and, like, work with us on certain things. And that'll be his 100 hours throughout the whole course of the school year. Well, that'll be pretty neat, sort of, maybe. maybe. Though it should be pretty good. Yep, Olivia got new skills at gymnastics, so she landed. She won what they call a snow, Sadie. No, crazy Sadie. Let's go this way, come on. She won what they call a stick it competition, means you stuck your landing. And she was competing against girls, like way, ow, way bigger than her. Thank you, Amy. Oh, they're off. See ya. Bye. Ladies. Yep, they're on their way. So yeah, Stella has really thrown. Everything was going pretty good, sort of. Minus my, uh, oh, we need more hay. Minus my surgery problems. Liz had her pre-op for her knee surgery yesterday. There's just so much going on. All right, what else? Oh, I gotta go. I don't have enough hay in this barn, so I'm gonna let them all out. Head over to Cassie's Castle. Start the milking process. Oh, we are gonna move, possibly soon, to a couple 36-hour days on those udders. So you might see me go into the barn in the morning and take care of the goats and grain them, but not milk them. And then the next day, do the same, but then milk them all at night. Hi girls, good job. 
then milk them all at night. That puts them at a 36 hour udder because we got to get, who is it, 80? Not Greta, oh my gosh. 80, Harper, and one of the Togs. I can't remember which Tog. We have to get them on 36 hour udders and get them to slow down in the milk production. So that means they're gonna get real big. They'll probably get a little uncomfortable. They might even ooze a little milk, but eventually that triggers their body that their babies are done drinking milk and they'll slow down. Plus we've already dropped their calories a little bit, but we don't wanna drop their calories too much because we need to fatten them up going into breeding. Now, hopefully, all right, I gotta let you go. Video over because I got a call coming in.